Intel Optane with a 3D cross point memory, and that's not cheaper NAND flash that goes into your typical SSDs, is something that has been released for quite a while now, but is finally starting to be mass adopted in laptops where in my opinion it makes the biggest difference. The technology works, and it works extremely well. We've seen this in the previous videos that the performance benefits are there, but also the convenience is certainly there too, where you can add Optane to existing drives that were otherwise slow, and essentially breathe new life into an existing computer. However, Intel is now partnering with all major notebook vendors Australia-wide, and is now rolling out pre-installed Optane in these notebooks as an option, and it is one that you should seriously consider if you want faster speeds. But it's also something you may want to consider too if you are a value oriented person. So here we are with four different laptops, all of these rolled out in major retails Australia wide. A Dell Inspiron 151500, a HP MVX360, a Lenovo IdeaPad 330S and an Acer SP314 14 inch convertible. What makes Optane then so special in these laptops? Well, it doesn't add much cost to your computer at all and it seamlessly links up with an existing slow hard drive, no matter how old, what shape and what size it is, to essentially make a hybrid drive that will be much faster than your typical hard drive. Though the technology involved with Optane is actually quite interesting. Intel with their Optane modules don't use typical NAND flash that's found on most SSDs. Instead, in these modules, they are using what they call 3D cross point memory. It is still non-volatile memory but it can deliver latency closer to that of volatile memory. That is DRAM sticks that go in your typical desktop computers. The latency has been drastically reduced compared to that of NAND flash and modules themselves are not anywhere near as expensive as DRAM for example. And we've previously done two videos here on the channel, one where we look at the performance on a laptop with Optane enabled versus disabled and we've also taken a look on a desktop variant where we have compared the add-in Optane module to SSDs and also hard drives that are 7200 RPM 3.5 inch and the results were very close to that of SSDs. So the speeds are very close, but today we have four laptops here on the desk and we're going to run some more tests with Optane enabled versus disabled to see how much of a difference this piece of tech makes in all these mainstream laptops that are being rolled out Australia wide. But also on top of that, I want to get a bigger sample size than the previous video we did. So the first of the laptops here with Optane enabled versus disabled was the Acer SP314. When we're booting up the machine, we got 15 seconds with Optane enabled versus two minutes and 31 seconds with it disabled. Opening up a large 4K video file saw us get two seconds versus 12 seconds with Optane disabled. Then moving on to a game called Scum, which is a new release title on PC that's actually still in beta. This scored one minute and 12 seconds to boot up versus two minutes and three seconds with Optane disabled. So all across the board, there were some big gains with the Acer SP314. Moving on to the Dell Inspiron, we've already tested boot times in the past and they made quite a difference with Optane enabled versus disabled. 4K saw four seconds versus 55 seconds, which was unusual for the Optane disabled to get such a slow number, but this was indeed correct. Moving on to Scum, we saw 1 minute and 22 seconds versus 3 minutes and 6 seconds. So there was a huge difference in the load times on this particular laptop. Moving over to the Lenovo IdeaPad 330S, we saw boot times uh, gain a significant advantage with Optane enabled versus disabled. 13 seconds versus 1 minute and 37 seconds. Opening a large 4K video file saw 2 seconds versus 12 seconds yet again, and then moving over to Scum, loading this up took 1 minute and 33 seconds versus 3 minutes flat with Optane disabled. Then last up was the HP MVX370. Boot times were 29 seconds with Optane enabled versus four minutes with it off. I actually had a lot of troubles with Optane disabled with this particular laptop. A 4K video file, we had three seconds versus 19 seconds. And then booting up Scum, we saw a minute and 12 seconds versus two minutes and 45 seconds. So across all four different laptops over three different tests, Optane made a difference and it was quite a considerable difference in every single test we ran. So there it all is with Intel Optane. Some great benefits to be had, especially in Australia where the cost of Optane is as little as 28 Aussie dollars for a 16 gigabyte stick and $74 for a 32 gigabyte stick. At these prices, it is definitely gonna make it cost effective in laptops where you can combine it with either one terabyte or two terabyte 2.5 inch mechanical drive and now have a large amount of storage on your computer but also would have not have had to forked out for a one terabyte or two terabyte SSD, which can add greatly to the cost of a laptop or even a desktop computer. 
Anyway, these notebooks on the desk here all have Optane pre-installed. And if you're in the market for one of these laptops, then just look for the sticker that says Intel Optane or look in the listing itself and see if it mentions Optane because it will have it pre-installed. You won't have to go through any hassles to install it yourself. But also on top of that, you will then take advantage of the great value that Optane brings to the table. But if your laptop doesn't have it installed and it just has a mechanical hard drive, then you can still add Optane into the laptop itself and enable it and take advantage of the speed differences. However, do keep in mind that this technology will be limited, however, to Intel 7th gen processors and upwards, meaning you will at least have to have an Intel 200 series motherboard and an Intel i3 7000 series processor or greater to take advantage of this caching system. Though it definitely gets the nod of approval here, and if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit that like button and let us know in the comment section below, have you tried Optane yet? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and I'll catch you in the next tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.